Hello and welcome. My name's Adam and we've got something really excited lined up for you today. We've teamed up with the NSC Creative and the National Space Centre to launch a brand new course, uh, which is called the Immersive Design and Development BTEC Diploma Level 3. Uh, we'll go through the exciting details of the course and answer any questions you guys have along the way. Uh, to ask any questions, just pop them into the comments. Uh, make sure you stay till the end though, because we have got exciting details of a webinar that we're going to be launching for January. So you need to hear about that so you can find out more about this as well. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Paul and Jacob, uh, who are going to tell you a little bit more about what they do and some more information about the course from the NSC uh, creative side of things. Uh, hi guys, you all right? Hey, yeah, we're doing great. Yeah, good to be here. Uh, we'll just start um, off with introductions, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Um, my name's Jacob. Um, I'm going to be the XR lecturer, so I'm going to be handling most of the day-to-day -day teaching um, that happens uh, on any courses that we run here at the Space Centre. Uh, I'm Paul, so I'm the director of NSC Creative. Uh, we're basically, we're based here. We've been making immersive experiences for the last 20 years now. So we're a very well-established uh, production studio. Um, and this is a brand new initiative falling under the Immersive Academy umbrella um, that we're really excited to be bringing and partnering with Leicester College on. Perfect. Uh, I know you guys have got a presentation, so I'll pop that on screen now for you and I'll let you go through it all. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, we've got a nice little title card here. You can see our logos, Leicester College logos, all working well, nice and together. Um, but we kind of want to go over what the course is first. Uh, so the Immersive Design Development BTEC Diploma Level 3, um, it covers all of the areas of immersive design. Um, we're going to primarily talk about these in terms of virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality. Um, some of those you might be familiar with, some of those you might not. Um, virtual reality, obviously everyone's seen a VR headset. Um, augmented reality, you know, how can we bring those virtual reality items into the real world? And then mixed reality, you know, the kind of stuff where we can affect virtual worlds in the real world. Um, you might see some of the cool tech we're going to be using when we switch back to the camera. And you can see kind of in the background, green screens, uh, the dome, cool stuff like that. Um, the course is kind of it's going to be a one year course with successful completion, guaranteeing entry to the extended diploma. And it's it's equivalent in UCAS points to three A levels. So it's, it's kind of um, your your standard. Uh, two-year course. It's just formatted slightly differently. Um, it allows us a bit of flexibility. Um, it's going to be taught split between here um, at our campus at the National Space Center and at Leicester College. So you get the, the specialist facilities that we can offer and then the kind of established Leicester College facilities, you know, partnering with a college that's been teaching for, for many, many years. Kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Um, and the teaching staff come with a wealth of experiences. Personally, I've been teaching a uh, primarily game dev uh, universities um, across both Leicester and Nottingham for uh, several years now. Um, and we've got plenty of really, really capable staff over at Leicester College who are going to be helping out as well. The real good big selling point of our course is it's accompanied by a work placement. Um, we're currently maybe 12 foot away from the studio where the NSC creative personnel actually work on commercial projects day in, day out. Uh, at the moment, they might be working from home, but usually everyone's here. Um, and this is a mix of animators, uh, 3D artists, programmers, editors, all of the types of job roles you expect to see within the creative industries. So we've got a real strong mixed team that's going to help the students in a work placement really develop their skills and get commercial contracts down and get experience before they've even left college. Um, for those of you who are perhaps outside of Leicester or those of you who've never visited, we are in the National Space Center right now. We're kind of slightly to the right of this photo. Uh, you can see our, the big uh, installation where we've got some of our rockets. You can see our nice little reception there. But we've, you know, we're an established uh, center of British science excellence with loads and loads of cool artifacts and things that we can uh, use to enhance our ability to teach um, we're just outside the Leicester city center. You can see where, how far away would you say on a bus? I'd say we're in the city center. 
in the city centre. We're on the tr- top of the triangle. We're on the top of the triangle. Uh, <laughs> I'm not from Leicester. I don't know. I don't know what the triangle is. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, 10, 15 minutes on on the bus from the train station is what I've experienced. Um, you know, I've even taken when it's a bit nicer. You know, perhaps not in the middle of December. I've taken a walk from the Leicester College campuses through Abbey Park to the Space Centre, and it was it was good. Nice bit of exercise. Nice uh, outside fresh air. I think it's most important with courses like this to kind of uh, place the course in the, you know, quantify it by what you're going to do when you complete the course. Um, the creative industries in the UK is obviously massive. You know, you can look across the country, you can find hundreds of game studios, film and TV production studios, advertising publishing studios. And as of 2018, it was generating £117 billion pounds per year. Now, obviously, we've seen that increase even more over the past two years. We're just waiting for the next kind of creative industry census to give us some more stats. Um, But that works out to £12.7 million per hour. So if you want a job, you know, earning some of this money, generating some of this money and doing some really cool creative projects, this is the type of course that's going to be those first few steps on that path. Um, We've got really good growth rates. Uh, the, the creative industries are set to, you know, become one of the UK's largest industries pretty quick. And, you know, we're growing at a really, really fast pace. There are 3.2 million jobs in the creative industries as of 2018. Um, these jobs are competitive, highly competitive markets. Um, but one in 11 jobs in the UK are in the creative industry. So there's loads and loads of scope for real diverse and interesting careers once you've completed qualifications like this. Um, And obviously, you know, with the fact that so many people are working from home at the moment, it's quite a resilient industry as well, that we're seeing a lot of changes, keeping modern, keeping our ability to uh, continue even through difficult times like the ones we're in at the moment. So you can probably see in the background, we've got our dome, we've got our uh, green screen, Um, But this is kind of a render of what we're planning on the classroom looking like when everything's all tidied up, good to go, and we've got everything installed. Um, We're currently sat kind of in the middle of this room. Um, But as we start to bring in more VR workstations, as we start to bring in uh, all the extra cool stuff we're going to be using in the course, uh, this is going to fill out quite nicely. And we're going to end up with a really, really innovative and um, groundbreaking teaching uh, installation. You can see that we've got, you know, things like 3D depth filming, uh, teaching students how to uh, film and project onto 3D domes using our mini one in the classroom. And then hopefully, you know, projecting onto the full scale planetarium dome in the uh, actual space center when it's not being used for um, tourism. We're going to have loads of VR workstations. We're going to try and keep it quite open plan. We're going to try and ensure that everyone's constantly practically working on loads and loads of projects. So the teaching's always exciting, always fresh, and everyone's always feeling like they're making genuine contributions to creative projects. So we're gonna be teaching quite a range of subjects. Um, Quite a few of them are gonna be taught over at Leicester College. Quite a few of them are gonna be taught here. I'm gonna leave it up to Rob and some of the guys over at Leicester College to explain kind of what subjects they're gonna be teaching. And I'll go over really, really roughly what we plan on teaching here. Um, One of our key modules in the first year is Games Engines with a focus on Unity. We're going to use this as kind of the the staging ground to show off our films, our games, our interactive experiences, and all the other cool creative projects we're going to make. Um, This will necessitate the learning of the C-sharp programming language. But I understand that that can be quite scary to some people who've perhaps not done a lot of programming before. But, you know, we're a creative collaborative team. You might find your specialism lies in um, story writing. You might find your specialism lies in being a director or a producer. You know, the programming isn't going to be for everyone, but, you know, having a nice ground level, that's going to really help you in your future careers. Um, XR asset development. So this involves 3D modeling, texturing, animating, particle effects, editing video footage, all the different ways we need to work to create assets for cool interactive experiences. 
Um, you might see some of the tools there. We've got Blender, Photoshop, the full Adobe suite. So we're going to keep um, making sure that we're working on the very cutting edge of software and stuff that they'll expect you to know in the industry. XR design, so learning not only how we can make immersive experiences, but how can we make fun and educational immersive experiences? Looking at some of those really interesting topics. Some of those words might be a bit scary at the moment, but don't worry, we'll, we'll get our teeth into them. It'll be great. Stuff like semiotics, uh, analysis frameworks, and then environment design, loads of other cool stuff that we can use to make really, really fulfilling immersive experiences. Um, as I mentioned before, one of the key selling points of the course is the work experience, where you'll be working as a junior team member, really, really helping out on actual commercial projects alongside the National Space Center Creative Studio. Um, this is going to be great because you're going to leave college with a portfolio of work that you've done. And, you know, portfolios are probably the most important thing that graduates can, can leave with. Of course, being at the Space Center, you're going to have access to jumping on all of our events, whether that's just to show up and have a look or, you know, take part um, as a participant, as a helper or even showing work. Stuff like our Bowie Oddity to Mars, where we showed um, a recording of a Bowie concert on a planetarium or all sorts of other events that we like to hold here. I think my favorite is always the Lego ones. Um, just to prove that we can do it, uh, here's a couple of examples of pieces of marketing material that we've developed alongside uh, local students over the past year as part of our kind of co-creation initiative. Um, what we're trying to do is push forwards with these skills that we've shown that we already have and put them in kind of that formal education setting. So you get the best of the creative industries and the best of making sure you get qualifications and making sure you're learning stuff at the same time. I know I burned through that really quick, but I know we've got a, we've got a lot to talk about here. But um, we've got a website, immersive-academy.co.uk, or you can contact me at jacobw at nscreative.com. I'm sure these contact details will be thrown out via the various social medias if uh, anyone wants to contact me. But that can be for any questions, course related, or just you want to come have a look around when we uh, reopen the Space Center. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you for that, guys. That was really, really interesting. I feel like I want to take the course right now. Um, we've just got a couple of questions uh, to throw you away. Uh, I know you've sort of touched on this slightly, uh, but uh, could you tell us a bit more about the specialist equipment that uh, you would use if you were to partake in the course? Cool. Do you want to grab this one? Uh, yeah, can do. I've, I've got a few, uh, few of those kind of XR toys out here on the table. So when we're talking about XR, we're talking about extended reality. So that's kind of an industry term that encapsulates different things. So we have uh, virtual reality. So this is when you put one of these on, the real world is completely closed off to you and you're in a fully immersive digital environment. Um, this knows where you are in your physical space. So you can kind of wander around and use the hand trackers as well to, to interact with that digital world. And then we kind of move along the spectrum from virtual reality and we have uh, mixed reality or augmented reality. So you may have tried this on uh, on your phone, on your smartphone or tablet, um, but kind of where the industry is heading is to put this onto your face. So you have mixed reality and goggles, which allow this kind of blended reality where you can have the digital and the real world coexisting seamlessly, um, understanding the environment using kind of laser scanners and all kinds of um, high tech stuff. Um, and so these are two of the kind of key things we're going to be exploring, but also things like shared reality, uh, where we have the dome, so we can run immersive uh, real-time experiences, not just video on the domes now. And we'll be looking at how we can kind of do massively multiplayer experiences. Um, and then one of the other things as well, this is, uh, doesn't look like much, but this is a depth camera. So rather than just capturing kind of regular 2D film, it will also capture depth information. And so that's really useful when we bring that into one of these environments. Because um, rather than just having a flat person, you can have a, a kind of fully three-dimensional person, which is really important for spatial storytelling and things like that. Wow, brilliant. So you really are on the sort of brink of cutting edge technology during this sort of course, because that's not sort of things you find in your iPhone, is it? <laughs> I mean, you're starting to, you're starting to. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
we have just had a quick question from a user on Facebook. So maybe you could uh, answer this before uh, we head over to Leicester College um, and talk to Rob. Uh, so the question is from Hannah Georg uh, and it's how long is the course? Um, so the course is, it being an extended diploma, we're running a one-year course and then another one-year course straight after it. If you complete the first one, you should be able to feed straight into the second one nice and easily. So yeah, kind of a, a regular two-year college course starting in September, running through uh, you know, two academic years. It's a fairly standard in terms of course organization. Perfect. Thanks for that, guys. Um, so if you do have any more questions uh, for Paul and Jacob, uh, please leave them in the comments. We will be coming back to them uh, towards the end of this live stream um, and we'll be able to talk to them more then. Uh, thank you both for that. Thanks. Uh, let's head over to uh, Leicester College and have a, and speak to Rob, who's going to give you a bit more information about how it works from the Leicester College side of things. Hi, Rob. You're right. Hi, Adam. Thanks for handing over. Uh, that was really exciting from Paul Absolutely. and Jacob, and we're really excited to have set this joint venture with them uh, from the National Space Centre and Leicester College. And it's been quite a while in the planning, um, and we can see it all coming together now. We're looking forward to a September intake. Um, I'm here today just to give you a, a welcome to St Margaret's and um, just give you a bit more an overview about full time study programmes that this course is part of. Uh, and sort of welcome you to the community here at St. Margaret's. Um, our course is uh, going to be a full time, as, as Jacob said, uh, study programme. So when you're 16 and you're, you're leaving school, uh, you all have to undertake you know, a study programme, which will involve a full time course, either A levels or, or BTECs and so on, or apprenticeships. Uh, this, this BTEC is a full time course at three and a half days a week, so the timetable hours. Uh, as Jacob sort of pointed out, he's shown you all the exciting facilities, and it's likely you're going to be um, at the Space Centre sort of two days a week. Uh, and here, welcome to our PC lab at St Margaret's. Uh, you're going to be here in our city centre campus for about a, a day and a half a week. And here, uh, you'll be part of our community of full time uh, uh, 16 to 18 year old students of about 350 students here at St Margaret's. Uh, that's within my department, within uh, creative and digital arts, but we also have our, our full-time computing students here as well on the top floor. So there's a real sort of tech, digital and creative vibe here uh, at St. Margaret's and that's why we're really excited to be, to be working with the Space Centre. Um, I would say we're looking to start this course on initially probably a cohort of up to 18 students. Um, so uh, if you're one of the lucky ones, start you know, looking at the course and applying as soon as you can. Uh, here at the college, uh, within the sort of full-time timetable and the day and a half that you spend with us, um, you'll be studying in our PC labs. Um, so you'll be using all our uh, up-to-date uh, Adobe software. Uh, you'll be working in our video and editing suites. Um, and you'll be working on Adobe Pro Pro and After Effects and those sorts of software. And you may well as well join us in our established uh, photography suites um, to work possibly in some of the studios and on some of the Photoshop work as well. Um, you'll be working with a range of experienced lecturers that teach on our full-time BTECs already. Um, so, um, you know, we naturally have sort of that experience delivering the current qualification. Now, Jacob referred to the qualification as the Immersive Design, I think, Diploma. Uh, that qualification, its traditional title is the um, Creative Media Practice Qualification. That's currently online on the BTEC website. It's a new qualification. It started this year. And that qualification, as Jacob pointed out, is uh, a two-year qualification. Its first year is called the 540 Diploma. And that's the equivalent to finishing your first year at ASs or finishing your first year at A-levels. And if you pass that first year and pass your first two units in that course, and you get good attendance and you get a good reference and you're working well, you can then apply and get onto the second year. And that second year is then called the extended diploma. Uh, and again, the extended diploma, once you complete the two years, it's the equivalent to doing three A-levels. Uh, it works at a pass merit distinction. So, you know, if you're achieving high a distinction level, it's similar to coming out with, you know, A grades uh, at A levels. So we hope that gives you a, a kind of a point of reference how the courses relate. 
Uh, Leicester College has been running BTEX for many, many years. Uh, we are running the creative media practice on a TV and film and you know, uh, uh, creative media pathway. So this will just be another pathway within that. Um, so hopefully that, that gives you some context. Um, I wanted to just give you a bit of background uh, about the um, criteria to come on the course. Um, we're probably going to take some questions later, but I may as well feed it back to you. We're looking for a minimum of four GCSEs to come on the programme at grade five or above. Um, two of those, it's compulsory that we're looking that you attend with grade five in English language and a grade five at least in maths. Uh, but of course, then you've got to look at potentially two other grade fives minimum. And, you know, as you can see the setting with the course, we're really looking for quite a range of students across a range of backgrounds from uh, whether it's computing or an arts background, filmmaking, media, science, um, you know, um, you need to have the, the combination uh, sort of the skills uh, to join this sort of very creative but quite tech course as well. Um, so that gives you some, some background there. Um, just to sort of come back to the college, uh, we're running uh, full-time courses across a broad range of subjects here, which we'll be part of. So we're running courses in fashion, like I said, we're running courses in media, we're on a large BTEC in art. Um, and as part of the study programme here at college, here at Leicester College, you'll undertake the, the subjects that I've mentioned. Um, so photography, film, and, and sort of uh, interactive uh, animation. You'll also have access to uh, a learning coach um, who will be your personal tutor. They will see you weekly and support you with any issues in and outside of the college. Um, they're there to support you in terms of a profile and strategies to help your learning. Um, and they're there to provide parent reports. Uh, we'll also provide you with access to your VLE, which is your online resources that will be shared with the Space Centre. So we'll all put our resources on one platform and you can access that here at the college. And you'll have access to a pastoral platform, which will have your grades and your tutorials and your, your comments as well. Um, so all that facility and those resources uh, are provided here at the college, and you can then see that the Space, uh, space Centre are really adding some key specialist ingredients to this course to make it quite unique and national. Brilliant. Thank you for that, Rob. So I don't um, think so... that sort of covers uh, my sort of intake on where, where the college and the Space Centre collaborate. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think you've done a... some questions or? Absolutely. I think you've done a really good job in covering that. Um, I think it made it very clear on how to how the course will actually work on a sort of a application base as well. Um, so like you did say, we do have some questions for you. Um, uh, one of the questions is actually uh, a comment from a Facebook user, uh, Sonia Riat, um, who's asked, will students require a portfolio of work at interview stage? I think we're quite flexible, um, but, but um, I think we would like to see um, a portfolio to have, but it could be a broad portfolio. So, you know, learners at home, they, 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 people watching this video today may love code, they may love writing code and writing their own programs. They may love making their own films. Um, they may really love sort of drawing and creating their own animations. So our traditional uh, request for portfolios at college um, used to be art, but now this course is just breaking the rules and we're really open to quite a broad portfolio across a broad range of skills. So yes, we want to see one. Yes, it can be a traditional portfolio students want to bring in, but we're also looking for that, that digital and technological uh, aspect to the portfolio as well. Brilliant, thank you for that. And uh, the next question we've got is, is all the learning classroom based at Leicester College? Yes, it is. All the learning is, yes. We've got our specialist facilities here, similar to our PC lab, our large uh, photography studios, and our, um, our media uh, resource centre for filming and editing. So yes, they will have them, absolutely, here at our city centre campus. Perfect. And uh, another question we've got for you is, do I need to have studied, do I need to have studied something related to the course beforehand? I think Jacob and I are really flexible on this because we know that some learners are, are really, really uh, interested in some of these topics at home. So we're happy to look at all applications, but we've listed that we kept the, the 
compulsory GCSEs as maths and English language, that we've made it quite clear we are looking for grade fives across some specialist um, GCSEs such as computing, such as maybe filmmaking or animation, such as science, such as art, maybe digital art. So I think um, Jacob and I, we're really going to have a good look at applications as, as they come in. And I think the personal statement and work that students have explored and expressed in their own time uh, between year 10 and 11, their own ambition and their own interests, I think that's something that um, Jacob and I are really looking for when we go through applications. Brilliant. Thank you for that, Rob. Uh, you mentioned Jacob. Uh, so let's bring Jacob and Paul back into this uh, stream so we can uh, go through the final couple of questions. Oh, okay. Cool. Hi, both. You're right. Hi. <laughs> Bro. Uh, so we've just got a couple of questions that I think it will be interesting to get uh, an answer from, from both uh, the Leicester College side and your guys' side as well. So we can sort of see how the synergy works. Um, so I know you both sort of touched on this, uh, but could we just go over it? So how will the time be split between uh, learning at the National Space Centre and Leicester College? Um, maybe Jacob, did you want to, uh, Jacob and Paul, if you guys want to go first? So um, currently on the plan, we're, we're still quite flexible with this because uh, we're trying to work out um, how exactly we want to make sure that students have the best access to facilities. Um, but the current plan is spending maybe two days a week here uh, one day of um, formal sessions, so those those classes I talked about earlier, and then one day focused on work experience, but then also perhaps some time to uh, use the facilities for personal projects or for assignment work. Um, and then I think maybe one day at Leicester College, I think that's what we're going for at the moment. Rob, can you confirm nor deny? Is that one day at Leicester Absolutely, College? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, Jacob's spot on. It's a day what students have got to realize is that you know that um students undertaking study programs may have to resit maths and english if they have um uh, under a grade four um but our entry criteria is actually five or above unless we get a unique application that, that we look at um so if the student did have to resit maths or english likely to be english then then they would um be resitting that here with us at leicester college um so it's likely to be a day it could be two half days uh, again, as as uh, Jacob pointed out, you've got access to resources here, so they may be doing some self-directed study time uh, here as well at, at this campus. Perfect. Thank you for that. Uh, the next question we've got is, what, qualif uh, what qualifications do I get and what can I do after I've completed the course? Uh, I take the uh, qualification if Jacob is right with you, if you take after the course. Cool. Um, so the qualification the uh, college and nationally, the BTECs have been running for a long, long, long time, um, decades, and this BTEC is no different. It's just replaced our existing suite of BTECs that have finished. Those qualifications now have run their course, they're not funded anymore, and this is a brand new BTEC, and it's just their replacement qualification. Uh, it will be delivered nationally, I'm sure. It's a great looking qualification, um, and like I say, it's called uh, the 540 diploma is the first year. That's worth your first year three uh, ASs or first year of A levels. And once you complete the second year of the course, the extended diploma, that's the equivalent of completing your normal second year of three A levels at your, your, your local sixth form. Perfect. Um, cool. Yeah. And after the course, um, you've got quite a few options. Now, traditionally, the creative industries, they're quite into students coming through with degrees. So this course would set you really, really nicely if you wanted to progress to university. Um, universities like De Montfort, uh, Uni of Leicester, uh, Nottingham, Trent, all quite local universities who have a lot of courses that can, you know, you can progress onto from this area. They tend to be a bit more specialized, but you know, we, we've got quite good connections with those universities if that's a path, you know, you wanna go down once you've completed the course. Um, but on the other hand, you are gonna be getting a wealth of creative industry working experience so you might choose to go down kind of a, a junior job role route maybe go into qa in a games company maybe go into an internship maybe go into kind of a, a junior position at a creative studio across the uk so there's you know there's a wealth of options both down the academic and uh, the kind of work career route perfect thank you for that uh, the final question we've got is uh, when can i apply 
who would like to say that one? I can I can start that one if you now. want. <laughs> I think I think Jacob and I are, are looking forward to applications and students can apply right now through PS16 with their, their local schools. And of course, if their school's not involved with PS16, the application is live uh, on the Leicester College website. Um, and I just check with um, Jacob, is, it, is, it, is there a link on the NSC website? I'm not sure. Uh, I believe there is, but we'll double check and get it updated if it isn't. Perfect. Thank you uh, for answering all those. Thank you, uh, all three of you, for joining us on this live stream to give our viewers uh, some more information about the course and uh, to launch it, really, because this is our first sort of big thing to sort of announce it to the world. Um, if you are interested in finding out more about the course uh, or either Blessed College or the NSC Creative, um, feel free to head over to our website. Uh, we've got links uh, to them and the course. Um, and you can also check them out on uh, the links that Jacob uh, put up earlier on the uh, presentation. I'm sure we can pop them into the comments as well for you. Um, don't forget on the on Wednesday, the 20th of January, we have got an exciting webinar uh, all about this course and this uh, sort of project coming out, um, which you can register for uh, straight after this live ends. It'll be up on the website um, and then you'll get emailed a link that you can go view that on. It'll be running on Microsoft Teams um, and on the event itself, you can find out more uh, information about the course as well. Um, but yeah, that is all that we have time for today. Uh, so thank you again, both of you for joining and uh, that is the end of our life. So good night. Thanks, Adam. Bye. Bye.